So, uh, hello, Doctor Ayan. How are you? Uh, hi, sir. Sir, I'm very good. Um, so, first of all, uh, I can see your smile, the beautiful smile. <laughs> say. So, first of all, uh, very heartily congratulations from us, from Doctor Trails, from me, Doctor Navin Porwal, for such a wonderful you, rank, AIA rank 30 in INSCT. So, uh, I will not say, I will not ask you the strategy. It is actually a story. Everyone has a different oh. story for the success. Right, and strategies don't work actually. Stories work. Right. You know yes, that. Sir. So if I if you can allow me, I can ask your story behind this such a wonderful success. What is your yeah, strategy? Sure, sir. story? Yes, sir. Mm. please. Please. Um so sir, like uh, uh, I started my neat PG preparation uh, starting from my third year. So like okay. in third year, I mainly focused on making notes. Uh, and uh, like basically you know uh, preparing the content content and understanding the content while uh, in my final year i focused uh, i shifted my focus to solving more and more questions and then in my internship uh, and then my internship started uh, last year mm -hmm. so like uh, i've done my mbas from vmmc and uh, i've done my internship from subdurging hospital so okay. subdurging's internship is uh, really hectic Very so hectic, yeah. yes sir so like uh, I had to find a way to, to you know, uh, like uh, sort my way through that internship and find out time to prepare for the PG as well. Um, so, sir, like uh, I, uh, I made a plan that uh, I'll try to cover one subject or one system in in a week, and then I'll give a test uh, uh, after completing that uh, system or the subject, and then uh, I'll review what all things I'm getting wrong, and I'll revise it as well. So I plan to basically finish my this first revision cycle by September or October, mid October, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, after I was done with it, so then I started my second uh, revision cycle, and uh, in that I mainly focused on uh, revising the uh, those things where I knew that uh, I lack uh, uh, in those topics. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in those things, uh, I mainly focused uh, during my second revision cycle, and uh, then, uh, like in January, uh, we got to know that uh, need PG has been postponed mm -hmm. till you know September. Uh, sorry, uh, till July. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. so then, uh, like, uh, I took it a bit casually. Uh, like, uh, I started having a, a slightly casual approach towards need PG, and so like. Uh, and then when my internship got finished in March this year, this year only, and mm -hmm. after my internship got finished, uh, then I, uh, you know, uh, then I majorly focused on my entrance preparation only. Mm -hmm. So because like my internship was over, so I was able to give a major chunk of my time to preparing for entrances. So okay. uh, during that time, like I used to revise my notes uh, and I used to give so many GTs. And I used to mainly focus on the previous year topics or the questions that they have asked uh, in the last five years, be it mm -hmm. INICT or NEET PG. And mm -hmm. I think this is what I saw in the actual paper also. So, like, Actually, uh, I, I uh, can see, I can see very genuine advice you have given. One is um, that importance of revision. One, yes, one, you have told you that revision, first revision, second revision, third revision. So, for right, those sir. person, those students who are going to give examination, this is one of the best ex advice that you are believing in revision and for that you have you have told me the first vision i have done in this month then second vision and third and second thing which you have told us is the importance of notes until right, you make sir. notes, until you write you cannot revise it right sir. isn't it right sir. So, so right, these sir. two points so uh, whatever hmm. you are uh, giving the advice to your juniors what i can see it is a very genuine so one so can i ask you uh, is there any notes making technique you have followed because sometimes students say when i start writing Okay, I start ending it with everything. So can mm. you just advise in few minutes, few words, how to make generally notes of every subject? Um, so, sir, like uh, I had a very bad handwriting, but I still used to make notes in my own handwriting only. Um, so, like how I used to revise them was that uh, uh, with each uh, cycle, I used to uh, like highlight uh, the important stuff or the most volatile stuff that I keep forgetting with a different pen or a highlighter. Wonderful. So that uh, in the end, uh, uh, like there was very limited uh, notes so that I had to revise. Mm -hmm. Right. So because like uh, if you keep revising uh, uh, many many times, then uh, it will take less time, lesser be, time by the subsequent revision. With each subsequent revision, yes, sir. This is the main. This and, is the uh, best thing. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. 
so this is a best thing no uh, can i ask you what is the role of doc tutorials and their faculty in your success faculty mcq question bank right. or uh, grand test yes, yes. so sir i uh, like i i really like the your classes and uh, dr sandeep sir's classes for peds uh, uh, from doc tutorials and uh, uh, and sir like i used the gts also and uh, mm -hmm. the uh, like a very unique feature of doc tutorials is that uh -huh. they have a video explanation also for gts video explanation so, wonderful yeah. right sir so like uh, you know whenever i i was not able to like understand the question through the text explanation that is there i used mm -hmm. to watch the video explanation of that question and uh, like usually after watching that uh, video explanation my concept used to get clear and i used to and i used to get to know why i got that question wrong and also yes. like since it's a video so like uh, it uh, video gets retained in the memory for a longer time as compared to text compared so to i yeah so sir uh, that made sure that uh, i won't ever get that question wrong again yes wonderful wonderful and even the explanations yes, are very short and crisp to the point right sir yes, yes sir so they are really you know uh, we can revise them faster uh, the explanation yeah, yeah. part yes yes so you can see lot of explanation in less amount of time because time is very right sir good. So right, thanks. So it it is actually giving us boost because at doctorals we are uh, curated question bank. Every faculty has taken so much of time. So you can see the difference and also the explanation. We are we are we are taking into time also that everything should be in less time because your time is very crucial. So thanks for yes, that. Sir, now, uh -huh. what else? I think if you are able to revise the whole nineteen subjects in the last one week, then. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yes, sir. Then, like, you need to have that crisp and concise content crisp to, to be able content. to revise the in all the nineteen subjects in the last one week. Now is yes, the sir. era of now is the era of knowledge overloading. Is there? We have to concise yes, everything. Sir. There used yes, to be a sir. time when there was lack of knowledge. We don't have books. We don't have now. There is mm -hmm. expansion of knowledge. Now, thing is right, that how sir. to concise everything. This is the point. Right, sir. So we want to concise your videos also and notes also everything. Because times now, can I ask you one very simple question? People used to ask me, "What is the role yes, of sir. pre and para clinical subjects in your preparation?" Sir, I think uh, uh, one major reason why I was able to get such a good rank was that I had a very strong hold on my first and second year subjects. Um, especially, like if you see the uh, basic subjects, so like physiology, patho, pharmac, they form the uh, foundation stone for the clinical years ahead. So, like, be it ENT, optical, or you know, medicine, peds, uh, any of the clinical subjects. So, once you have a, a base uh, uh, which is formed by your first and second year subjects, then uh, these clinical subjects, they, uh, you just need to build up on that base. So, and uh, so, like, even medicine, I I didn't revise medicine as such. Uh, mm -hmm. It was mostly like patho, pharmac uh, integration that is there in medicine. My one of my teacher used to say that physiology, pathology, pharma, and medicine they are like four pillars. So right, if your sir. concepts are okay, so yes, sir. Uh, uh, so that is why uh, you can solve integrated questions also. Yes, sir. They find like these subjects find their way into each and every subject so somehow. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. I'm finding very genuine advice because these advice are going to help a lot to your juniors who are preparing for the exam. Mm -hmm. So thanks for giving such a wonderful advice. Now I will I okay. want to ask you. Nowadays there are a lot of image based questions. They are giving images right, of, like Perkin JSL like that. So what would mm. be your advice uh, to deal with such questions like image based question? Mm, sir, image based questions uh, like uh, uh, you can go through the uh, like the standard images that are there. But uh, like sometimes they ask uh, very stupid kind of images. So like uh -huh. they'll give a uh, like in the in the last neat pg itself they gave some very intraoperative images and mm -hmm. uh, in this ini ct there were very useless uh, like histological images which i had no idea about so yeah. it's better to leave those questions because you can't really do anything about it so again i would say that you have given a very genuine advice that don't try for 100% no one is yes, going so. to do it 100% okay so don't right. based on this 100% try to concentrate on images of ganong gaitan or uh, this yes, robin's sir. pathology Okay. Yes, sir. So, so if you are seeing the standard books, if your images from that that book, that is sufficient. Don't waste right, too sir. much of time in those images. Wonderful. Okay. Can I ask you which is your favorite subject, or what are the subjects that are favorite to you? Mm, sir, I really like to reading patho and medicine. Uh, so these are my strongest subjects overall. Okay. Okay. And can you also say what are the weakest? Because everyone has you know some strong yes, points, sir. some weak points. Mm -hmm. 
what was your weakest uh, was my um, anatomy and uh, i think uh, orthopedics okay 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 okay, wonderful. okay which is your favorite branch i hope medicine or pedia hmm. yes sir so like it's between medicine and pediatrics only yeah, uh, i, I think based on my rank uh, i'll choose pedia um but let's see now you look i'm good physician i know that <laughs> i can sense <laughs> that so i can sense that that the, yes, the, the, the you. genuineness you are speaking this is wonderful because this is going to help a lot of students any other thing which you want to share with us while preparation one very important thing that you yes. also told that after this you know postponement you become casual so there are yes, the sir. phases also no one can study yes, every day for 10 hours sometimes it can be 10 hours some can be be 2 hours so average mm-hmm. should be like 7 to 8 hours so every day is not a sunday as we know so this yes, is okay. so like it's very um, it's really necessary to take breaks also yes. uh, all the consistency is very important in cracking these uh, entrances but uh, like uh, taking breaks is equally important because uh, if you won't take breaks so you'll have a burnout and uh, like your mind will stop uh, working yes 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 and during preparation sometimes we used to get low feel or sometimes we get depressed so uh, can you suggest anything um uh, so sir, like uh, you should have a strong friend circle um uh, mm-hmm. you know so like if you are feeling depressed uh, then you know you can talk to them you should have some hobby so mm-hmm. because uh, uh, like you can't keep studying 24/7 and you need to give time to other yes. aspects also it's career is the part of your life it is not whole life right so yes, sometimes sir. our rank is not good so we should mm-hmm. be adjusted to that because even yes, if sir. rank is good and you are not happy it is not mm-hmm. a good thing you should also be yes, happy sir. also na no? enjoy your life also yes, okay wonderful wonderful so thanks uh, a lot dr ayan agrawal mm-hmm. i am yes, very sir. happy talking to you uh, i can see the positive uh, the positive vibes coming from you mm-hmm. so i hope this <laughs> video will help lot of students who are preparing for their, their examination uh so all the best for your uh, result and uh, your career thank you so much sir. thank Hope you to so meet much. you very soon mm-hmm. thank you yes sir thank yeah, you and so you are much, from agra i am very happy you are from agra i am from yes. lucknow <laughs> i am from yes, king sir, george hospital really. so whenever you come to lucknow we can meet and we can do sure, more sir. podcast <laughs> right <sir. laughs> so that can help students a lot yes, okay sir. okay buddy okay. all the best okay thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you